Stop what? messing about and mispronouncing words. Do it again, proper. The Genesis Story! That's better. Genesis formed in a Ponzi Fotherington Thomas type school called Carter Horser House. It was here that Walter Gabriel, Ernest Rutherford, Hinge and Brackett, and some drummer or other started tinkling around with nonny music and stuff and playing filthy games with biscuits and cheese spread and stuff, didn't they, Scrawn? I don't think so, no, but it was here that they met Jason King, that sad bloke off the telly. It was Jonathan King, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, you're right, sorry. Then they met Jonathan King, that sad bloke off the telly. So impressed was he with their A-level results that he offered them a recording contract. But the lads had other things on their minds. Did they? They did, yes, yeah. because there was some serious thieving going on at the Ponzi school. Stuff was going walkies from the canteen at an alarming rate. The most common article prone to theft was the school's unequal pie collection from the Ponzi bakery class. <laughs> really upset at this terrible situation. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't laugh. They wrote a terrible song about it, them. Yeah, it was a concept piece. Go. Watcher of the pies. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they did find the culprit, and lo and behold, it was the blinking drummer. Oh. They couldn't believe it. So they booted him out and got the ex-great train robber Buster Collins in. And then they got a bit weird, didn't they? Yeah, they did, yeah. And Walter Gabriel started wearing weird clobber and stuff. Yeah, there was a big sunflower, wasn't there? Yeah, and there was this, like, big Rottweiler's head or something. That's right, there was. Yeah. Uh, and then to make himself look really weird, Walter Gabriel shaved a three-inch strip of hair from the middle of his head. But mysteriously, the strip of hair was due to be placed in a Genesis museum when, one night... <gasps> went missing. I bet it's that thieving twonk of an ex-drummer, I said. Thought Walter. Yes, I bet you are right, Walter, I said. Said new drummer Buster Collins. Anyway, Walter put this hideous theft behind him and went to work on the next Genesis record. This record was a big, big success and mm. Walter Gabriel was dead, dead famous. Mm. I mean, I mean really famous. You know, like, like Andy Kershaw or something. <laughs> well, don't get carried away. I mean, yeah. he was famous, but yeah. I don't know about that. Anyway, when he got dead famous, he left the band to make records about his favourite American television funny man, Sergeant Bilko. Dreadful that, but uh, on the other hand, Genesis were doing really well with, and this was a brilliant idea. Cop for this, <laughs> Buster the drummer singing. Oh God! Anyway, that was a while ago, wasn't it, lad? Uh, yeah, that must have been about fifteen years ago now. Yeah, yeah. And uh, then they did some stuff about Buster's wife. Didn't yeah, they? yeah, they did. Then they did some songs about nagging and bickering and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. And then they did an album about getting back together again or something. Yeah. Then one about getting divorced. I think that's right. Yeah. And then yeah. they did one about Phil's being follically challenged, didn't they? Yeah. Called something in my hair tonight, wasn't it? <laughs> I can feel it clocking up my hair tonight Oh Lord I've been slapping on that brill cream with all of my might Oh yeah I've been trying to grow some hair for all my life Oh Lord to top it all, me and the missus have just had a big fight. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 terrible. 
terrible, terrible. Oh, something in my head. Oh, oh, and that oh, amazing pile of cack is where the story rests today. Talking of which, just one amazing Genesis fact before you go. Not many people know this, but you know that previously mentioned three-inch strip of hair that went missing from Walter's bonds? Oh, yeah. Well, just look at Buster Collins' head. And in the front, hanging there precariously, is that very same strip of hair. So it was him who stole it off Walter Gabriel in the first place? Wow! wow. The Genesis story! Story, story, Genesis. Story.